Hello and welcome to 1TS Gaming. Today we're playing a game that was made on RPG Maker not too long ago called The Crooked Man. This was most notably made popular by another Let's Player, rather famous on YouTube, named PewDiePie, as I'm sure many of you have heard of. Without further ado, here we go. Start. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which bought or which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. See, these are the fairy tales that really kind of get to me, because they're supposed to be cute and all, and as you grow older, they're really, really creepy for some reason. Whew. Finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help you with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Ooh, nice. The three of us should go out drinking. <laughs> Hell yeah. I look forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. What nice friends. This place is actually not that bad. What's this? Huh? Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him before, or if he's still around. Got Paul's license. Okay. Huh? You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move on for a pit, change of pace, and I will and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. He can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for this place, right? Don't come complain to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. Well then. The license can wait, I guess. Better go to bed. Yeah, well, before we do that, I want to explore. What we got in here? The bathroom, wash basin. <laughs> don't want to go. Uh... A shower and a bath. Okay, good to know. What's this? An old computer. Not many clothes inside. Empty trash can. Okay, no hidden secrets there. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Surely? Wow, Shirley's kind of a bitch. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Man, I'm tired. Oh, I'm not liking this. Uh, really? Is that someone crying? I can't sleep through this. Is that one of my neighbors? I should go complain. Yes, because that makes sense. First day moving into a new apartment. Yeah, I'm going to go complain about my neighbors. Never mind the fact they've probably been here for, like, 20 years. Knocking, but no response. Knocking. Knocking. Yes? Who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Wow, way to come off like a prick there, David. 
Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. Most nonchalant way to leave an argument ever. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Is that one? Yes. What? Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Under the bit. Oh, God. Under the bed. Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Oh, man. Fuck that shit. Fuck that right in the ear. Got nothing in here. Okay. Oh, God. Alright. Just go back to bed. Forget it. Under the bed, huh? What's down there? Yeah, that's something I would never do. I would never bother to check under the bed for something like that. Hmm? Found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll go to bed. Yeah, even after something like that, I probably wouldn't be able to get back to sleep. That That's just a little too creepy. That sound still? Where is it coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. Ah, what do you want? Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean... Look, I, I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept into noon? I better go. So much for taking it easy. Well, no one can truly blame... Hi. Hi, friend. Paul? What is it? Yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks. So, uh, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul. Uh, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? S sorry I... I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Well, you know, first try. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh, my. If it isn't little Tommy, you've certainly grown. Good to see you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved into this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. That sounds delicious. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? 
Oh, yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. I think our mom has dementia. Mom. Oh? Who would you be? Why are you here? How'd you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Wh who are you? Say something, will you? M Ma. Get out! I'll have you thrown out. Somebody, somebody! There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now! Miss Hoover. Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Get away from me. Don't touch me. Well, eh, whatever. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for the day. Understood. Take good care of her. Wow, that's actually kind of depressing. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom. Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. <laughs> Holy balls! Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. Okay. Our mom is crazy as well. Who are you? Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I'll ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Nothing odd going on. What the fuck? Chair moved. Did I move that chair? Hmm? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? I'm just gonna go to bed. Yeah. But... Oh my god, who's calling at this hour? Hello? Hey, David. How are you doing? Heh, <laughs> I saw you... or you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call me if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way... I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told you her, or her your number. She said she was so worried about you. That's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. Alright, well, I'll hang up now. Alright, see ya. Dots. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Jesus Christ! Whoa. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Jesus! Gah! What? This is creepy. Why did it say sink? What what was that? Old TV. Okay, well, go check out the sink. A wash basin.
Oh, that sink. Whoops. Hmm? There's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked stile. He bought a crooked ho cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... This is so weird. I should just sleep and forget about it. I don't think you can forget about stuff like this. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? <laughs> Clearly you do not understand welfare system, my friend. Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Huh? Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. W wait what Help me. Oh, God. The coffee says... Y y you gotta be... This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Uh, hi. Paul? It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Uh, yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, it seems like he forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she has to know. Yeah, you know what? If this stuff ever happened in a house I just moved into, I would be moving out the next day. I'm just going to throw that out there. Hello? Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something. You see... About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went, would you? I never really heard that, no. Just, really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, uh, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, no, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. You know what? The last guy probably had the same thoughts I'm having right now. All this weird crap starts happening and you just run for the hill. Hills. The fuck? What is this? An old TV. Why are there tracks on the floor? They lead to this wall. Is there something in the crack? Got a brass key. The key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. That 
guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirrors writing and the TV turning on, the coffee. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? I like how he hasn't bothered to clean up the mud tracks. Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't really much care if they haunted me and killed me, either. Well, that escalated quickly. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. Yes, you wonder about the scrap of paper, regardless of all the weird shit that's been going on in your house. What was the man who used to live here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Seems to be his answer for everything. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to sleep it off. Forget about it. I suppose it's uh, healthier than a lot of other habits. Oh. What? Why? Where is that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Is it the TV? Oh god, this is really giving me goosebumps. What is where is that sound coming from? Jesus dicks. Box of tissues, cupboards, refrigerator, a stove. Okay, not nothing in here. Alright, 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 alright. Uh maybe it's in here? Ah, came from in here. Radio? What's why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. There's something on the paper here. It's an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. Alright, I'm just going to do what David does and just go back to bed. Ah! Howdy, friend. Wh what? I'm... I'm waiting for you? What? Why did... How? And when did it... Whoa. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm going to call the episode right there. I'm way over time budgeting as it is. Um, leave a like and a favorite if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, it really helps a lot, and um, I will scream at you next episode. Peace.